Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna welcome back to Hasna's anatomy and today we'll discuss this bone that you can see right in front of you the very long and very strong bone known as the thigh bone also known as anatomically the femur the femur is the bone of your thigh now what is the thigh we all know that the lower limb is divided into a thigh a leg and a foot so the uppermost part of the lower limb which is the thigh has this bone as the main bone of it So let's get started with the anatomical position and side determination of the bone. So now let's discuss how to hold this bone in its normal anatomical position. And for that firstly we need to do the side determination and then I'll talk about how the positioning is uh, done. So firstly you can see that this bone is consisting of an upper end, a lower end and a shaft. So this is quite a long bone hence it's not fitting in my camera I apologize for that however so the most important part of side determination which is point number 1 the upper end will have a rounded head and the lower end will be expanded so it's pretty obvious the bone can't be kept like this this is the upper end and this is the lower end the upper end is rounded while the lower end is expanded from side to side the next important part of your side determination point number 2 is that the head will be directed medially so if this is the right femur it will be directed like that because this head has to make a joint called the hip joint with the acetabulum of the hip bone and if it's the left femur then it should be kept like this however we're not really done with the side determination because we still do not know that this is right or this is the left femur hence there is a third point of side determination which helps us get there now what is that point well the shaft is supposed to be convex forwards probably you cannot see here but when you'll hold this bone in your own hand i guarantee you that you'll actually feel that there is a side or a surface which is more convex forwards than the other ones so this is what makes sense so now i know that this is the anterior surface this is the upper end with a rounded head i know that this is expanded so this is the lower end and finally the head is supposed to be directed medially hence now i know that this is the left side femur so the side determination is complete i have a left femur in my hand however there is still a question is it actually kept like this in the body well no for that we need to determine the anatomical position of this bone the anatomical position of this bone meaning how it's actually positioned in the body so now i know it's left so hip bone is probably like this the acetabulum of the hip bone is where this femur head will form joint so what's important to know over here is that the normal anatomical position of the femur is point number 1 that the head has to be directed medially okay slightly forwards and upwards so if i try to do that suppose this is the acetabulum it's supposed to be okay fine it's medially however it's supposed to be a little forwards and it's supposed to be a little upwards so when i do this little upwards you realize that the shaft becomes a little oblique so the point number 2 of anatomical position is that the shaft is supposed to be oblique and how is it supposed to be oblique when you keep the shaft so as you can see that when i keep the femur on a flat surface naturally the femur is having an oblique shaft so with the head directed upwards slightly forwards and medially you can see that this is the normal anatomical position of the femur so if you notice over here that when i keep the shaft on a plane surface automatically the shaft becomes quite oblique so this is the normal anatomical position of femur at point number 1 the head is supposed to be directed medially forwards and a little upwards point number 2 is that the shaft is supposed to be kept obliquely that when you keep the condyle on the plane surface naturally it becomes oblique and it's supposed to be like that So this is the normal and this is how you'll hold the femur.